Small mysterious alleyway number three. Hi, I'm Monty, and this is my mum, my brother Marley, and my dad. We're a family travelling around the world, and if that isn't difficult enough, we're doing it during a global pandemic. Join us for our regular video. Navigation expert, navigation tip for Venice, has told me that the yellow signs, like that one there, you can see a, a, a key to navigating here. Basically, they're literally everywhere. And if you um, have a vague idea of where these are, you won't get lost. So, let's see how practical that is. Marley is very happy right now, Marley. Happy Marley, what have we found? I we thought found, he was trying We this. found a circle made out of many perfect isosceles triangles and Marley somehow gains pleasure from this. I do. I'm not sure how, but he does. <laughs> Dad's being blamed for not taking an offer on um, a gondola ride. I personally agree with Dad here. We have a, a very vague plan to save water activities to the evening, um, to the afternoon, so that we get full coverage of our little day pass for big barges and stuff. But now everyone else is like, everyone else is like, oh, why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why, why did you do that, guy? These two really don't like it. <laughs> Another, being offered another tour. What do you like to do, Mum? Oh, I think we've got to have that experience. And I'm happy to pay for the half price one yeah. before the Euros. I can't get much better than that, can you? Yeah, sometimes you just got to listen to Mum every month, Monty. What do you reckon, Monty? Goodness, right. Here goes my camera battery. <laughs> So then we've now got our 24 hour tickets and we're on a boat, which is nice. I've not been on a boat for a while. 
I don't count gondolas. The main bit of Venice. And you've got the island of Lido here. Little island Murano. And we're going to Murano, which is famous for its glass making. Leather jacket though is too cold. Saw your face in the crowd and I think we loved eyes. Her just perfect, yeah, she's beautiful. Never thought you'd be here. Day two in Venice, everybody. What are we doing today? What are we doing today, Dad? My mum's just come up with the race across Venice. So what is the um, idea behind this? So the starting point will be the Piazza San Roma, otherwise known as the bus station. Then we think it might be three teams. One takes the ferry all the way down the Grand Canal to Piazza San Marco and then they get off and they run to the centre of Piazza San Marco. One takes the ferry halfway to the Rialto Bridge and then they have to walk and navigate from the Rialto Bridge to San Marco Square. And then somebody else gets to walk all the way from Piazza San Roma. So they have to walk all through the streets, probably cross at Rialto Bridge, might meet team member two. And then they have to walk, continue walk from the Rialto Bridge to St. Mark's. Lots of zigzags, lots of little canals, lots of alleyways, potential to get lost. But three teams, one end point. So, Team A, how are you feeling? Feeling alright, got a bit of weight on my back. <laughs> and as I'm doing all the walking, I might have to shed a bit of weight. And I'm just thinking of my strategy. Quick, but not run. Just walking, fast walking. How do you rate your chances? I think everyone's got a pretty good chance. As long as people don't make a howling error, I think it should be relatively even. Cool, right, good luck. Team B interview, hello, how are you guys? Hello, good thanks. So what's your um, route? Well, because it's deemed that I can't navigate anywhere. You can't. <laughs> um, me and Marnie are gonna be on the boat all the way from the um, start to the finish. And even that's not particularly easy, is it? Because you've got to work out... Yeah, so we've got to work out whether... So some boats go all the way with just a few stops, and there are some boats that go there with loads of stops. So you've got to work out whether it's quicker to get the one with lots of stops, or the one that doesn't take very many stops. And, and what time they go as well. And you've got a second team member as well, Marley, hello. Hello. Marley's my man, aren't you, Marley? Hello. He's going he's gonna to save you when you get lost. <laughs> anyway, good luck, Thank and you. I'll see you guys at the finish line. So let's have a look at the route for today's race. I'm Monty, your totally unbiased host. This is the start line where the um, competitors will be starting. It's just next to the bus station. Uh, they then move on to Rialto Bridge, one person cutting inland, two on a boat. One gets off at the Rialto Bridge station. And then the ones that stay on the boat will have to continue around to Mark Square station, whilst the other two cut inland, finally finishing in a mad dash both inland to the finish in the middle of St Mark's Square. So we've literally, we've literally just stopped off at the bus station and that was a major disappointment from that bus. Um, so as I was saying, we've literally just stopped off at the bus station and here comes our bus. I very nearly didn't, didn't go as planned. 
So it's currently 10 to. Race starts in 10 minutes. We're going to start at 9. Um, the bus is just pulling into Venice now. Let's have the team. We've already got some segregation going on here. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. Okay, so Monty, you're the third team member. I am team C. Okay, so what's your plan? Um, I can do whatever I want. I've got the mix of boat and land. So I'm going to get off at the Rialto Bridge, which basically you can then cut a straight line between that station and the square. I'm going to travel along that straight line. But I will get lost because it is completely inland and I've got no idea where I'm going. Anyway, the race is about to start. I've got to get my water bottle and go. Thank you. Everyone, I'd like to declare four minutes till race start. Four minutes. So, what is our plan? So, we reckon we're going to get the boat trip with less stops, aren't we? Yeah, there's less stops. That's number one, which I think only stops at the station. Um, and then it stops at the Rialto, which is halfway point. And then it stops at St. Marco Square where we want to go. So, it doesn't actually go, I don't think, until a few minutes or nine minutes past. So, we're going to have to wait a bit, but I think it's going to be worth waiting so that we can have fewer stops. Are we in agreement? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. 30 seconds till race start. 30 seconds. Five. I need to find us. I need to find the boat. I need to find the boat. Well, that looks interesting. Fancy seeing you guys here. Alright, this is number two. I think this is number two. It goes to Rialto. Hop it on that one. It's the other one. Sorry. I had to get under there somehow. Uh, the other one. Oh no, I'm not a priority guy, I need to get through this one. This is a shambles. This is a shambles. So we're not actually sure what boat we've got, are we Marley? No. All we know is that it's going to the Rialto Bridge. There was a bit of a mad dash there, wasn't there? Yeah. Dropped my glasses, couldn't get through the ticket machine. Yeah. But we're on a boat that's going to the Rialto, so first stop, yeah? Yeah. yeah well, that was absolutely hectic, but we're now on the boat, hopefully to Rialto. If it's not to Rialto, the other two are on here as well, so we've both made the same mistake. Thanks to Team B and C's complete shambles of trying to get on a boat, Team A has pulled ahead a little bit, but he's now got to duck inland, navigating the winding streets of Venice. Can't see Dad anywhere, that's not, not a good sign. I think we've got a little bit of a head start on that whole boat fiasco. Um, we'll catch him up quickly though, I reckon. So looking at the the way this boat goes, I think I've just got on the boat that is two stops to Rialto. Um, so I think I may have absolutely fooled a blinder here. Well, Marley, I'm not sure what boat we're on, but we're not on the one that only does two stops. Away. So update again. Um, I've just looked at the compass from the Rialto bridge, so I know direct ish what direction I'm going to be going. I think planning out a route road by road is going to be futile because there's many different ways to get to one place and you're just going to end up slowly but surely finding dead ends. So I've got a vague compass heading, it's south 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 east from the um, Rialto Square and south south east we shall go. So I've got a bit of a ferry ride to go now, just going to sit tight and see how it goes. Two of the teams on boats are now quickly making their way towards Rialto Bridge, with Team A hot on their heels. If you remember, the Rialto Bridge station is where Team C departs, now cutting inland towards the finish line. So this is the first Rialto station. There are two. I'm getting off the second, because that's the one that this boat goes to. Um, there's the bridge. So uh, we are about to disembark. I believe, guys, this is my stop there. Um, so, thank you, it's been an honour travelling with you, and I will see you guys at the finish line. You're heading off on foot now? I am off on foot. I'll, I'll, I'll see you there then. Here we go. 
So stage two now commences. That's it. These guys are getting off the change boats now. I, on the other hand, look for a more direct route. See you, I guess. Wandering once again from the streets of Venice, this time by myself. Sign up there. That is um, beside St. Marco. I don't think it really you can either go, I think, forwards or left by the looks of that. I am going to take a gamble. I'm going this way. Now, Dad also had to get off at, um, not get off, he had to cross over the Rialto Bridge. And I haven't seen him yet, so I don't know whether or not that is a good sign. I don't know if I'm ahead of him or not. Page 21 minutes already. Taking 21 minutes, okay? Yeah. My bottle's falling out of my bag again. I'm carrying it. I'm carrying it. But yeah, so up there, sign to St. Marco. So me and Marley have just looked at the timetable and we've worked out that we've got six more stops till we get to St Mark's Square. Feels like it's quite slow now, doesn't it, Marley, the boat? Yeah. What you're thinking is now. We are not going to win this. There is six more stops and each stop takes like a minute to unload and offload and get going. So. Who do you think is going to win, Marley? I think probably Monty. Why do you think that? He had that head start when he went on the boat, like halfway, and then he can just nip off and just go around to his mother. I wonder where Dad is now. Probably get a glass on him. There's a sign up there saying this way, this way to the square. So now our three teams are closing in on the finish line. Team A and C are on foot and team B just about to join them getting off St Mark's Square station. Guys, here is the um, cathedral on this the square. My this way, left, left, left. This is the middle square we are next to the finish line. But I think I think I'm the first here. I think we won. So I can now confirm I've had a walk around the square and no one else is here. Which I think means. We won the race to St. Marco, everybody. So now I can be assured of my victory. The only question is, who do I think has come second? Now, Mum and Marley are gonna be coming from 
basically from behind me, that's where all the gondolas come from, and Dad will be completely the other way, it's where I came from back there. Um, and I don't know, because Mel and Marley had to change boats, which wasn't originally in their plan, so my estimate is going to be that Dad, that Dad has come second. Um, the reason this is a very important question is I'm going to hide and surprise them, so they think they've won and then they haven't, like you see in every, every race TV show. And I don't know where to hide. Okay, so... 9.27 in the middle of St Mark's Square. Doesn't appear to be anybody else. Well, none of our family, there's a few other people. That's the San Basilica de San Marco. Or the Basilica de San Marco. And luckily, I'm in the shade here because that was a hot walk for 27 minutes from Piazza San Roma. To the Piazza San Marco. When he finds out, I've been waiting right there for him for the past, for the past a while, because I thought Mama Marley were gonna come second, and no, he has. Good morning, how are you? No, no, no. I don't think that, I don't think that's the surprising part, Dad. I was here at 23 past. So what, what time did you get here, first of all, Monty? 9.23, and you were here at 9.27. Um, the reason I think that is, I, there was one, there was a ferry. I had no idea. I had no idea about this ferry. There was a ferry that um, was one stop between the station, the bus station, and Rialto. What ferry number was that? Uh, two slash, I think, or 2.1 or something. Um, Mum and Marley got on the same ferry, but then they've got to wait to then get a ferry that's going to take a longer time. Well, they had to get a different ferry. Yeah, they got on the same ferry as me because it's going to be quicker to Rialto, and then they're going to get another one to here. They've not arrived yet. Uh, but well, um, but so, when I arrived, Monty, yeah. there was nobody here. <laughs> I was. I thought Mum and Marley were going to come second, so I was waiting over there for them by the boat port. But they're going to come from that way. Is anyone there? Oh, my boat! Oh, <laughs> so third place have arrived. Third place, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, we kind of knew, to be honest, didn't we, Marley? We thought it was going to be third place. We thought Monty would come first because he had that little extra start of getting on the boat and then running through. We thought Dad would be second, we know how good Dad is at his navigational skills, even in a place like Venice. And although the boat's supposed to be quick, quite quick, it has to stop off at so many stops. You've got to wait for people to get on, to get off, and the boat to get moving again. Um, I thought we had a good time with you, Marley. Yeah? Well done to you, Monty. Thank you. Monty here in the edit, hello, you can tell it's me from about a month and a half later because my hair's significantly longer. Anyway, this was really fun to edit, I hope uh, you enjoyed it. Um, join us in the next video when we move into Austria, finally, I'm um, catching up with where we are now. And yep, yeah, subscribe, see you in the next one, bye! <laughs>